One of my favorites, the Lamborghini Aventador 355 convertible. We'll get them unwrapped and we'll see if, uh, if they fit. <laughs> Houston, we may have a problem. All right, guys, uh, welcome to Dave's Supercars. And I'm back in uh, Kush Carbon. Very exciting. I'm about to collect my carbon fiber bits for my car. Um, three pieces, side skirt and two side intakes. And here's the side. Nice. Cool. So good, you can't tell. <laughs> which one is which one is happy, yeah? There you go. Very nice. Side skirts. That, that finishes fantastic. Really nice. Okay. Nice. They're gonna look very good. A lot better than what it was. Here comes the side skirt. That's a big difference. Massive. The finish, I can't get it like it. It makes such a big, a big difference. The only concern is it's, it's too good and the other bit won't match it. But if that happens... Yeah. If you want to, you can always bring the other one. Yeah. yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, so super impressed with the uh, carbon fiber. Can't wait to get it on the car. Um, fingers crossed the bit he made for the uh, side intake will be a perfect match. Um, it's hard to get it exactly 100%, but I think it'll work. Um, fair play to Karen, he spent a lot of time doing the work and it looks fantastic. It, there's still carbon fiber on the car and this is probably going to show up how faded the rest of the carbon fiber is. But we'll see, we'll put these on and we'll see what happens um, when we put it on. And uh, if we have to do the, the rest of the carbon, then we'll do it. All right, so we have the carbon fiber in the back of the, the Jeep. Let's bring it over to ARM and get them fitted. And this will be like all uh, new. Yeah, there it is. Let's get them inside. Yeah. We'll get them unwrapped and we'll see if, uh, if they fit. <laughs> Hopefully the one he made fits. Yeah. The moment of truth. So, uh, that one? No, nah, that one. Yeah. Houston, we may have a problem. Let me try this side. So. so that's how it should be. That one is okay. So it doesn't exactly fit. So let me show you. So I think up here is the problem. I think we just need to file it. Just cut that little bit off so that it fits. It's just not, it won't fit in at the moment. So I think we just need to shave that off. So yeah, the top seems to be the problem. Uh, apart from that, probably would be okay. Yeah. So looking at the top, this one just needs to be shaved a little bit. Just a little bit. You can see the difference. Yeah. Just needs to be shaved that much. So the carbon fiber doesn't exactly fit. I think it just needs a little bit of a trim. So um, I'll see if Karen can actually come here to have a look because he's the uh, carbon expert and um, maybe he can just shave that little bit off to make it fit uh, nice and snug. Um, while I'm here though, I do have the uh, RAL color coating uh, chart that uh, I'll go to the car, see which orange is the best so I can get the intake manifolds and the air boxes uh, sprayed and powder coated. Um, 
So let's have a look. All right, here's the color chart. Let's have a look. Which one's the uh, which one's the best fit? Okay, so that's where the intake manifold is going to be. These are the colors, and it's it's very close. The painter here thinks that one, and Nathan thinks this one or this one, and I don't have a clue. <laughs> oh, tough decisions. Okay, we've made a decision. We are going to go with RAV 2008, the uh, Hell to Orange. Yeah. Um, the painter reckons this one might be just a little bit matte looking. This one might be a little bit more, um, well, what's the word looking for? Bright. So we're going to go with that one. There's not much difference in it. So decision made. It does look good. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, one of the reasons I love coming to ARM is I see all these uh, nice exotic cars. One of my favorites, the Lamborghini Aventador. A nice uh, matte black. Oh, it looks good. Um, again, you got the proper uh, scissor doors. They're not quite, they don't quite go up vertically like the old um, uh, Countach and Diablo. Um, they actually go out a little bit. And the reason for that is that the window doesn't have a frame. So in order to get the seal, uh, that's the way it has to be done. It has to kind of go out and go out when it comes up and when it goes in, it, when it goes down, it comes in. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, let's go around the back. Let's have a look at this engine. <laughs> Now that's an engine. Oh, V12. It is just unreal. It's an uh, animal. Uh, in the video where I brought uh, the kid to uh, Lamborghini, uh, we started an event and all. Um, it just sounds awesome. Uh, this is the, uh, I think it's just the SV, maybe. I don't think it's the SVJ. I could be wrong. Maybe you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. But, uh, Awesome. Look at this, more beauty. Uh, F355 uh, convertible, uh, which I think is even nicer. The uh, 328, um, something like a GTB. I don't, I don't want to show the number plate because it's on my car and the owner probably wouldn't be too happy. But, um, oh, just fantastic. Uh, something like a 1980s car, something like that. Uh, if you know more about the Ferry 328, let me know in the comments. Okay, to wrap up this video, number one, the carbon fiber doesn't exactly fit. <laughs> so we'll try and get that sorted. Um, number two, we've uh, got the, the round color. It's a 2008 uh, Helitor Heli Orange, I know. It's fair to go with the number, 2008. Um, so I'll tell EP Blasting to start with that. And we get the uh, side skirts. Nice skirt fitted and see how it looks when it's on. It's, it's not that big of a difference of the coloration, but we'll see. Still, Still he reckons I should get the other one done. Um, let's see, if I can get Karen to come over, he can have a look and see what he suggests and maybe get a quote and see if we can do it. Um, the sensors have been replaced, the ECT uh, temperature sensors have been replaced. Uh, the battery will be installed a little later because, as I mentioned, there's no point in installing it now and having it sitting here. So uh, that's yeah, probably the last thing. Yeah, I'll be here for two more weeks. That'd be like five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Five weeks out of the car. Yeah. Five weeks out of the car. But at least it's inside in the air conditioning. In my place, it'd be out, well, it'd be under the shade, but it'd be subject to 45 degrees heat. Um, I think that's it. That's, that's enough anyway. So, uh, that's it. Catch you on the next video. Take care. Say bye. bye. <laughs>